tuning in this afternoon. Today we are going to be doing primarily leg exercises. We will be doing some seated as well as some standing up. So all you need today is an armless chair and we can go ahead and get started. So you want to be sitting comfortably in your chair, sitting nice and tall. Oh, and I forgot to say, <laughs> in case you don't know who I am, I'm Desiree Myers from the Washington County Senior Center, the Assistant Program Manager here. So now that we have that out of the way, we can go ahead and get started sitting nice and tall in our chair. Your back can be against the back of the chair if that's comfortable for you. We're going to start off by just getting centered, taking a couple deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breaths here, breathing in and out. If you choose to add arms, on the inhale, lift your arms up. And on the exhale, lower down. That's up to you. This is your exercise. You do what's best for you. That's three. Four. One more. Five. Very good. Like I said, in case you're joining us a couple minutes late, we are doing leg day. We'll start off with our seated exercises with our right leg it out in front. Let's do some ankle circles. Just drawing tiny little circles with your feet in one direction. We're going to go for 20 today. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now reverse. Tiny circles the other way. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Go ahead and lower the right leg down. And what we do to one side, we always do to the other. So go ahead and lift your left leg up. Angle circles. Just draw in tiny circles with that foot in one direction. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, reverse it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower down. We're going to work on leg extensions now. So still sit it with your back against the back of the chair. Go ahead and just lift your right leg up in front and bend it back down. So we're just kind of kicking out in front and lowering back down. As always, we want to be in control of the exercise. So you do what's comfortable for you. You do it at your pace. Maybe you do three, maybe you do 40. <laughs> Although probably not recommended. I do want to say if you have knee problems, this today's particular exercise is probably not the one for you. Go ahead and sit this one out. We have other videos on YouTube and Facebook under the Washington County Commission on Aging Incorporated. There are some flex and stretch, yoga, other various exercises that you can try instead of this particular routine today. I think we're probably at like 15, 16, 17, 18, 
17, 18, 19, and 20. Over to the left leg, just lifting that left leg and lowering back down. Two, up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Let's step on the gas pedal with both legs up now. We want to point our toes out and then flex back, pointing out and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. We're definitely warming up those legs. Now we want to do toes together, heels together. Again, that's where we lift both legs up. And you want to bring your toes together and then your heels. As it's simply stated, toes together, then heels together. Lifting both legs up, let's do 20. Toes together, heels together. Toes, heels, toes, heels, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Go ahead and lower your legs down. You want to now come towards the front of your chair. Make sure that you have a little bit of clearance around you. Still sitting nice and tall. Our posture is something that we always want to be focusing on, making sure that we have nice, gentle, deep breaths throughout the exercise as well. If your breathing kind of gets out of whack a little bit, just stop what you're doing and catch that breath. If you feel any pain at any point during this exercise routine, stop what you're doing. Again, you know yourself better than I do, so you do what's best for you. We're going to work on stretching out our legs a little bit. So we're going to hold this next exercise or stretch. Interlacing your fingers, you want to grab your right leg bending at the knee. And just pull that leg in towards your body. Again, we're sitting nice and tall. I'm not hunched over. Just sitting tall, pulling that leg, adding a little bit of pressure, pulling back towards your body. Holding for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Before you release, go ahead and take your left hand, kind of grab at your right ankle. You want to gently guide that right leg on top of the left leg so that your right ankle is above your left knee. You should have kind of a figure four here. We're working on flexibility as well. <laughs> but this is going to be for a hip opener. We're going to do a forward bend with this. So everything is stacked up. Your right ankle is above your left knee, which is in line with your left ankle. All right? Now, resting your hands, right hand on your right knee, left hand on your right foot. You don't have to add pressure, just kind of resting them there. 
We're going to go ahead and lean forward at this point. Just lean as deep as you feel comfortable, keeping that back nice and straight. Go ahead and hold this for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. Slowly sitting up, nice and tall. Let's go ahead and unwind with your left hand grabbing your right ankle. Go ahead and come into that leg stretch that we were holding earlier with your right knee pulled towards your body. Now what we're going to do is stretch that right leg straight out in front of you and hold your arms out to either side for five, four, three, two, one. Lower that right leg down. Like I said, what we do to one side, we do to another. <laughs> That's either a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and intertwine those, interlace those fingers, grabbing that left leg, pulling that knee up towards your body, holding that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, making that figure four with your legs. So we have the left ankle on top of the right knee, which is in line with the right ankle. Just stacking it up here. Resting our hands on our knee and our left foot. Go ahead and lean forward, keeping that back nice and straight. We've got a forward bend here with a hip opener, holding that for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Again. Interlacing those fingers, we're bringing that left leg or knee up towards our body. Now we're going to straighten that left leg out in front, putting our arms out to either side, engaging that core. We're holding for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the left leg and relax the arms. Very good. That is a real challenging one, something we're not used to doing. All that often working our core plus also opening up our hip a little bit. So I hope that's one that you enjoy and that you're progressively getting better at as we continue to try these. Next we're going to do sit to stand. If you've watched these videos before you have seen some different variations. Sometimes people like to use momentum coming from a seated position up to a standing one. Some prefer to have their arms out in front at shoulder height. Or others, like myself, just prefer to cross their arms across their chest. That's up to you. You can do a couple, each of those three ways if you prefer. Again, if you can't do 20, that's okay. Maybe you do two, maybe you do one, or maybe you do 20 plus. It's up to you. You do what's best for you. You can do these faster or slower, but look, I'm going to try for 20, and if you can, go ahead and try that with me. My feet are planted about hip width apart. I am preparing to stand up nice and tall with control, standing up, and now I'm gently going to sit back down. That's one. Up and down. Two. Three. Focus on your breathing here. Four.
nine, ten, halfway there. Take note of how you're feeling. We're trying for nine more now at this point. Again, you are hovering. 
starting or holding on to something. We're just gonna do 10 of these. If you wanna watch, I'm going, just like the calf raises, I'm going up onto my tiptoes and back down so that my heels are almost together. Let's try 10 of those together. Up and together. Two, three, four, five, six. Try to keep those heels together. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You should have felt that one at different places. That's a good one to work your ankles as well as your calves to strengthen a bunch of different things in our lower body. So it's always nice to do some variation. Sometimes our body gets used to doing something a certain way, such as walking. We're kind of making that calf raise. We're rolling our heel onto our toe as we walk. And so our body kind of gets used to that. So it's nice to switch it up sometimes and work some different muscles. Continuing on, let's go ahead and do um, a standing knee flexation. So standing nice and tall with all of the weight on your left leg. The right leg is the one that will be moving. What you want to do is just bend at the knee, bringing your foot behind you and back down to the floor. That was one. We'll try to do 20. Two. Three. Four, five, trying to remember to stand nice and tall this whole time, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Very good. Let's put all of the weight on the right leg, and the left leg is going to do the same thing. So bending at the knee, bringing that left foot behind you and lowering back down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So all 
all of the weight on the right leg. The left leg is now swinging out, up into the air, and back down. Out and down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and again, twenty. Good. Now we're going to do a standing hip flexation. So when we were seated, we lifted our leg up in front of us. Now we're going to take it back at a standing position. All of the weight is on my left leg, my right leg, keeping it nice and straight. I'm just going to kick it back bring it to center. Back and center. Trying to keep that leg straight. Three. Standing nice and tall. Four. Five. We're going for 20. But again, you do what's best for you. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, all the way on the right leg. Left leg standing hip flexation, taking that left leg straight back and to center. Two, three, four, five, six. Trying to take it straight back, not out to the side. Seven. Although your body is probably tempted and naturally tries to fall that way. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent. Let's go ahead and try and do about three squats. Our legs are probably getting pretty tired. Let's not push it too much. With your feet, sorry I'm getting tangled here today. With your feet about shoulder width apart, you want to be a little bit away from your chair, table, countertop, whatever it is, just so you have some room in front of you. With your knees about, I mean your feet about shoulder width apart, everything lined up, hands on that chair, table, counter. You just want to squat down, so pushing your bottom out and back. One, two, one more. And three. Good. We're going to do a little jig. So combining that hip flexation that we were doing earlier, we're going to kind of add a little bit to it and do a variation. All of the weight on the left leg. The right leg is the only one moving. You want to come front onto the heel and back onto the toe. So we have our toes up in the air and then they're touching the ground. Heel, toe, front and back. Four, five, six. Again, it's up to you. Seven, how far away or close you keep it to your body. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 
comfortable, just as a safety net. So you have your right foot directly in front of your left foot. You're standing nice and tall. Go ahead and hold that for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Carefully release that. And now you want to go ahead and have the left foot take the lead. Left foot in front of right foot in a straight line. Left heel is touching the right toes. Standing tall. Finding that stationary focal point if you need to. Go ahead and hold this for 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Carefully release. Very good. Now maybe you weren't, maybe you were able to hold it for the entire time, and maybe you weren't. If you weren't, don't be discouraged. All of these exercises and things take time to build up to. Balance is something that is very important. So I'd encourage you to just kind of try that. Maybe you held it for five seconds, and that's awesome for you. Push yourself to do five or six tomorrow as well. So just keep on trying, keep building up, set a goal for yourself, and keep working at it. Now we're going to go ahead and do a downward dog, well, a modified downward dog. Standing behind the chair, with your hands just resting on the top, or on the table or countertop. I just happen to say chair because that's what I have. You want to go ahead and slowly walk your body back. Keeping everything in line until you are fully extended and just kind of the tips of your fingers are touching that chair. Go ahead and relax your head between your arms. Now you do want to hold your neck up. We are not dropping it. That is terrible posture. You just want to keep your head or ears kind of even with your arms. Go ahead and hold that there for 30, 29, nice deep breaths, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and carefully walk those feet up, coming to a standing position. Go ahead and find your center here, taking a couple deep breaths, just standing. Your feet are hip-width apart, just standing here, taking a couple deep breaths. Again, finding that center. Maybe you feel, maybe you sit up a little faster than you should have. Make sure that you find that center, that you are nice and grounded. In through the nose, out through the mouth. But we're not 
sacrificing posture here. We're still nice and tall, aren't we? Excellent. Go ahead and come front of your chair now. Head to move body back in place. Carefully sitting down. You can have your back against the back of the chair. Shake our arms just a little bit. Let's stretch out our shoulder, taking the left arm across your body, bringing that right arm up kind of in your forearm area, just in front of the elbow, and pull that left arm towards your body. Just go ahead and pull. Feel a nice little shoulder stretch. Give our legs a break for a bit. We are on the cool down. Good, release that. Let's go ahead and stretch out our right shoulder. The right arm is coming across the body. The left arm is pulling it back even closer. Holding that there. Just for a little bit, feel a nice stretch, a nice little pull. Let's do ear to shoulder, both directions, chin to shoulder, both directions. We'll take deep breaths and be done. Dropping the right ear towards the right shoulder. Again, we're taking the ear to the shoulder, not the shoulder up to the ear. And just dropping that head down gently, holding it here for five, four, three, two, one, gently up to center, taking the left ear down towards the right, I mean left shoulder, left ear to the left shoulder, holding that for five, four, three, two, one, carefully back up to center. We always find that center before moving on to the next thing. Taking the chin over to the right shoulder, keeping it nice and level as your head rotates over. Hold that there for five, four, three, two, one. Nice and level over to center. Now the chin heads over to the left shoulder. Hold that there for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly over to center. Excellent work today. Let's take a couple deep breaths together. On the inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower back down. Let's do three together. Breathing in and let it out. One more. All finished. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining today. I hope you enjoyed our leg day routine. We have done quite a different, quite a few routines, different ones. We've done some chair exercises, flex and stretch, the leg routine that we did today. If you want to comment, email in, let me know which exercises you enjoy most, and we can continue to add those into the routines. Again, I encourage you to go back and rewatch not only this particular routine, but others that we have on the Washington County Commission on Aging Incorporated YouTube and Facebook pages. You can go back and rewatch as many times as you'd like. I encourage you to stay active and to stay well. As the weather is getting warmer, I do want to remind you to try and stay out of the sun during its peak hours. So maybe if you enjoy walks, try those in the morning or evening when it's not so hot. Also, remember to stay hydrated. Again, stay well, take care, and I'll see you next week.